everybody, Josh from Silka here, uh, talking today about our new uh, e-bike and e-sports lube, Synerge E, uh, and that's right, the E is for e-bike and e-sports. Uh, what do I mean e-sports? I mean indoor riding, uh, particularly Zwift. You know, your Zwift racing, um, doing those hard workouts. This is the most non-flinging, uh, non-dripping lube on the market. Uh, as we've heard from a lot of you, you know, uh, Synergetic is phenomenal and amazing indoors. You still get a little bit of uh, flinging. The wax products are, you know, faster by half to three quarters of a watt or so, but they, they do make a little bit more of a mess on the floor from the, uh, the wax flaking off. This stays put really unlike anything you've ever seen. Um, but that's not all that we're here to talk about today. We've got our handy uh, little test machine here. Uh, to test the film strength of the lubricant because I really want to show you uh, how we have tuned this lube to handle high pressure. Now in a, a previous um, video we talked about Synergetic, right? Synergetic is the highest film strength bike lube ever tested uh, and as we've got our machine set up here we are running a 600 newton load which is uh, you know kind of like a uh, sprint effort sort of a load that you would see inside the chain um, on a machine that's slowed down, it's still, you're seeing higher surface velocities than you see inside of a chain, but it's only half the surface velocity uh, designed for this standard test machine uh, because your chain is not seeing speeds that high. Uh, the thing I wanted to do today to, I think, add some interest is I've got my trusty little dyno light uh, microscope here um, looking at the pin, and I want to use this tool to show you the before and after of the pin as we do the testing. Um, and why that's important uh, is, is just so you can kind of really see up close uh, what that looks like. Now, I was hoping to have my screen in the back there so we could just show it, but we get this uh, crazy flickering. So I've got it off screen here recording on the screen. Um, and so as I put, uh, put the pin under here throughout the testing, you'll be able to see what that looks like uh, we'll post it uh, up here, or maybe just do a screen takeover when we do a video merge at the end. So I want to get started really kind of by showing uh, a traditional e-bike lubricant. Uh, this is the product I've got right here from Finish Line, you know, very reputable uh, brand in our industry. This is the uh, high mileage e-bike formula with molybdenum technology to extend uh, high torque from e-bikes according to them. And so what I want to do is show you this test uh, compared to Synergetic at the standard 600 Newtons and then we will look at Synergy at both 600 and 900 Newtons uh, which you know is a force that we might not see on our road bikes typically but you definitely can see it in an e-bike drivetrain. So uh, let's start out let's look at our pin here under our dyno light. There you go and you can see that is a brand new beautiful pin uh, that's what it looks like before. And so what we'll do is we'll get our, uh, our, our machine set up here. Uh, Michelle, who edits our video, will speed through some of this, and then we will get, uh, get the thing running. It'll run one minute, and uh, we'll look at our pin size. You'll also notice there's a little guard here, and I've gone ahead and left the guard off so that we can look at how much oil is flung uh, during the test. And so that'll be uh, another indication of just how good the Synergy is at preventing uh, flinging and dripping uh, even at high speeds. So let's, uh, let's get on with our test. So we'll shake up. Got my two weight plates here. Got my e-bike lube. We get my setup going. Take my lube and I'm going to uh, drip it on. And you can see here we're going to drip it nice and covered. Um, you can see it dripping out the bottom and then I'm going to go ahead and unweight it and set it down gently. And that sound you hear, that is the metal on metal, the scraping. Uh, we will highlight it. You can see the flinging um, and you can see the smoke uh, coming out. That's the breakdown of the oil due to the high, uh, the high friction. You can see it's continuing to smoke, and that means there's a lot of oil breakdown. And what's going to happen is the pin 
uh, is eventually going to wear to such a large surface area that you can hear it. The, that's a, a, the surface area that's large enough for the oil to actually effectively float the two uh, pieces apart from each other. And so that's what we call the oil film strength. You know, how much load can the oil film take? Um, there we go. Just a few seconds left on our counter. And stop. Okay, so that's our one minute test. Uh, and what I have here, let's, whew, first of all, what I notice, this thing is hot. Um, I will get a shot here, uh, actually with, with my iPhone, now that I think about it, because it's probably hard for you to see. Um, let's look at the flinging. Okay, so we've got this. I've got a Silka gear wipe. I am just going to give the pin here a wipe so we can see it better under our dinoscope. Um, and let's get that. Oh, wow, yeah, the whole thing. That, that's nice and warm. And there we go. You can see that uh, we will get a measurement on that, but that, uh, that mark to me looks to be right about a centimeter um, in length. We'll... Uh, I'll use my free hand here in a second off camera to put a, a little measurement mark on it. But you can see that is what we get with the traditional e-bike lube. Um, that is a considerable amount of wear. And so what's happening in this test, you have the pin this way against the roller this way. And so your initial state is a point, a tiny point of contact. And then as the pin wears, it wears this sort of big, long oval pad. Um, as material is removed. And so you're getting this sort of uh, exponential increase in surface area um, over a relatively short period of time, which makes this a, a convenient test when you're trying to, you know, compare additives or compare oil strength, uh, film strengths, oil viscosities, things like that. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna wipe this down. Uh, I've got a lot of metal on my wear pin here. So I actually will take a little grinding stone and we will grind that back flat, and then we will come back here in just a second with Synergetic, uh, and you can see how Synergetic does by comparison. All right, I'm back. So I've got a new pin in here. This guy has been uh, ground with our stone back smooth. I've got my Synergetic, which uh, you wanna give it a nice shake. You wanna get all that uh, lovely tungsten disulfide uh, and other special goodies uh, nice and in suspension there. Um, before we get started and so we are going to basically do the same thing all over again we'll get our one minute timer uh ready okay get that nice and shaken get this guy on here go ahead you'll see with uh with the synergetic we we really just don't even need to use that much a little pressure build up in the bottle um, I'm just going to put some down there. Okay, we'll drip a little on the side of the pin. Get that nice and up, and then we'll get it running, and we'll look at... So you see we're getting a little drip, but I'm not getting really any fling uh, there. And so I'm going to go ahead and just set this down. Ooh, that was quick. Get my watch started. One minute. You can hear the big difference though, right? It, you had that little scraping for just what, a, a fraction of a second or a couple of seconds. Uh, it's pretty much found its, uh, yeah, its happy spot. So we're gonna let it run for another 42 seconds uh, and then we'll take a look at that wear patch. We'll play, cue up the Jeopardy music here. So, got that. Oh, you can see you get a lot of fling when I lift it off um, <laughs> because there's suddenly it's loose. Okay, and let's get this wipe. This I think you're going to find really impressive. Um, look. Look at that. That, uh, we'll get a measurement on it, but that is just a couple millimeter uh, wear patch on that. 
Uh, and you'll see while it was operating, there was no flinging. It only flung once I lifted it off. Um, we made a little bit of a mess, but uh, you can see the size of that wear patch. And that's what we talk about. That's the, the tungsten disulfide technology. It's actually uh, essentially the little lamina of tungsten disulfide are forming up in sheets at the pressure interface. And it wants to be uh, in that high pressure interface. That's actually, the pressure is actually doing the work of forming this durable tribofilm um, that is reducing the wear. So it's kind of a really fascinating technology when you when you learn about it because it's uh, you know if the pressure wasn't there actually the tribofilm would not form um, but you can see the difference and wow I mean what what a huge difference uh, compared to what we just looked at and that's for our standard synergetic um, which as we've talked about before you know validated verified in data by our own competitors to be one of the fastest lubricants ever made uh, you know I think we've got you've seen this from muck off here where they showed the Synergetic's actually faster than the uh, Absolute Black Graphene Lube, the $150 uh, graphene lubricant, um, and their own $75 lube is only claimed to be 0 0.09 watts uh, faster than Synergetic uh, at about three times the price. So, you know, not only is this a hyper-efficient lube, but it really eliminates the wear. Okay, let's break this down. Uh, we'll clean it up again, and then we're gonna look at Synergy, and you can see the difference there. This one's exciting. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got a new pin you can see here in the screen. Um, this guy's been sanded down and cleaned up. We've got Synergy. Uh, which you'll notice is just, it's a bit higher viscosity. It has an extra additive in it. Uh, it's basically everything that's in the Synergetic plus a little bit of stuff in, a, uh, in an oil that's a higher viscosity and has something in it that's known as a tackifier. And a, uh, the, the tackifier just gives it a little bit of stickiness to help it stay in place. Sometimes we get the question, you know, doesn't that help dirt stick to it? Uh, but the key is you drip it on, it goes inside the chain, you use your microfiber cloth to wipe the outside of the chain. Um, and when the outside of the chain is clean and dry, no dirt sticks. The Synergy, uh, because it's tacky, when it's inside the chain, wants to stay inside the chain. So uh, you actually can end up with a very, very clean drivetrain uh, using this oil, even though it's tackified. So let's uh, get our pin ready and we'll get our Synergy going. And we will start at 600 newtons and then we'll even up the, uh, up the level to 900 newtons and see how that goes. So we're gonna comes out a lot slower than the synergetic uh, because of that viscosity. Let's get it uh, spinning, and you can see already no drips, no flinging. Um, with oh, well, when I take it off, it the webbing causes it to fling. Here, let's wipe that, and you can see through the test. Um, that it's not going to fling. So we hear it. And again, just like the Synergetic, you get that very quick transition. Um, and the wear is done. Like what you're hearing now, that is, uh, there's no wear occurring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add another plate. This is going to take us from 600 up to 900 newtons on that plate. Oh, we forgot to start our timer, so let's start our one minute. And we'll just let it run. 900 newtons, one minute plus. Oh, Michelle, you can give us a timer, whatever that was. 15, 20 seconds of wear at the front end. So here we go. Jeopardy music. All right, and we are gonna look at this guy under the scope. There we go. All right, so what we see here in this guy, I think is pretty amazing. You see, it actually has a slightly smaller wear patch 
Look at that. Then the Synergetic, despite having 50% more load on it. So that's how high the film strength is here. Um, it doesn't fling. It doesn't want to like, drip and come out everywhere uh, when it, it's, uh, it's operating. Like I said, it, it'll fling a little bit when you pull the thing off because it takes a web of the oil with it. Um, but it just stays in place incredibly well, uh, far better than anything else we've ever tested on the market. But under that load, uh, you know, that 900 Newton um, point contact load there, I mean, that's, you know, essentially beyond field sprint, you know, that's like pro tour uh, sprinting uh, right there. You're still having almost no wear and you can hear it in the sound. Uh, of the thing that there's just you no know, very little friction um, happening. And that is my final point with both of these lubricants. Uh, because you're doing such a nice job of getting the tribofilm uh, running against the tribofilm, there's no metal on metal. They run extremely, extremely quietly. Um, Synergy is super quiet, or Synergetic is super quiet, but Synergy is the quietest uh, oil based lube we have ever tested, both in this test. Uh, and when testing it on a drivetrain. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully everything you wanted to know. Um, if you have more questions, please put them below. Uh, as always, please like us, please share us with your friends, uh, ask questions, and uh, we're going to start a little series actually of uh, other lubricant, competitive lubricant products uh, running in this test so we can put together a little comparison chart for everybody. So tell us what lubricants you want to see in our comparison test. Uh, again, drop it right there below after you like and share uh, our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.